to say my two, last two pastors have been very influential. Um, I used to have quite a temper on my, my previous pastor. Uh, uh, was a very calm man, and uh, I learned by example from him. And uh, he, uh, he was not a gifted sermonizer, but he was a, is a wonderful person. And uh, my current pastor has, has been, I think, key in developing um, my relationship with Christ. Uh, his um, insight, and he has a very winsome way, uh, and he always has time for you. And that, um, I, I wish I could learn that uh, uh, gift. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, my pastors have been very important in that line. Yeah. That, that's what Tom, he always had time for me. That, mm -hmm. that was a great way of saying it. All right, Tom? Okay. Um, <clears throat> What roles have mentors played in your life? Um, I, I, at this juncture in my life, I have uh, one a gentleman in particular who uh, has been um, a tremendous influence on me. Um, and uh, his name is John Graham, and um, he's also my co-author. Shameless plug. Um, and uh, he, uh, he, I've been friends with him for over 20 years. He's also my kung fu master. Okay. Um, yeah, I do kung fu. Um, I told you I was a geek. All right, now, um, I would say that he has played an influence on me in that um, he has taken up several roles in my, in, in my life. Okay. I, I personally believe that a, a mentor is not a mentor unless he can be a teacher, unless you allow him to be your teacher first. Okay. If you do not allow a person to teach you, he's not a mentor, okay? He's just somebody, he's a consultant is what he is, all right? But you have to allow this person to teach you, which means you have to be teachable. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, next, he's a friend, okay? He's a friend. Um, he, he's somebody that I can turn to and say, hey, M hey MG, I call him MG. I say, hey, MG, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I got this going on. What do you think about it? Or, or even, I don't, a lot of times, I'll just call him and say, hey, how are you doing? How are you feeling this morning? And he'll say, great, and we'll have just a general friendly conversation. You need to have a mentor that you're friends with, okay? That's very important because it kind of balances things out because there's a, there's a level of, of, of power distribution between the relation, in the relationship. And if, you, if, you're, if you're constantly doing Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. There's a there's a, a, a an inequality in the relationship that's very unhealthy. But if you're friends with your mentor, if you don't constantly go seeking uh, advice on how to run your business to him, but instead you just call him up or her up and say, How are you doing today? I was just thinking about you. That equals equals out the, the, the relationship. And it makes it a, a richer and more full um, experience. Uh, I would say the last role that uh, MG plays in my life is that he's just my buddy. Okay, we, we, we just hang out. You know, you know how you have friends. Okay, and then you have buddies. You know, somebody you just hang out with. He's my buddy. Okay, so um, those those are the three roles that he he occupies in my life, and. Um, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a great experience. It really is. And uh, I, I believe that um, I believe God put him in my life uh, because uh, he has things for me to learn from this man to pass on to others. And um, if I hold it in and keep it in and be selfish and think, well, it's all about me, then uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to get up there and Jesus is going to, you know, Todd, I gave you this information. You didn't give it out. I'm not very happy with you right now. Oh, sorry. So I don't want that to happen. So, you know, I, I, I try to pass it out as much as I can, all this information I get. Thank you. Mr. Pierce? Oh, I do want to thank you for letting me be here. Um, I would say, <clears throat> I can't say one person throughout my life, but it's been at different times in your life. When I was in high school, as a Christian guy that took an interest in me before I became a Christian and really just cared about me and, I look back, it was a great encouragement to me. And uh, then he kind of fell out of, you know, moved on. A guy in college encouraged me also in the Lord. And 
older guy that would just hang out, like he said, and listen to you and, and be your friend, but yet kind of uh, advise you a bit. And then as I got, uh, really met uh, some position in church, particularly that's very encouraging to me through the years, uh, just about personal issues, professional issues. And I think it's kind of naturally, if you're looking for, as a Christian, as you were called to be wise and seek wisdom and seek you're looking for people that are wiser than you, people that know more than you. So you're just going to seek out those people that you want to learn, if you want to solve problems in your life. And I think that's, uh, but church is a great place, next question I guess, church is a great place to find those people. And uh, they're key. You've got to have people like that as you go along that are going to encourage you. And God will bring them too. But you got to, like he said, you got to be willing to listen and do what they say. And not that they're dictating to you, but you got to be willing to say, well, I think you may have a better course than I do in this situation. Be willing to say, well, I'm going to change my course because this is what he, this is what he said to do it. And uh, otherwise, like, there's no point in, in, in talking to him. If, uh, and, uh, and again, they have to be friends. You have to have, a, they may have a little more of a, um, kind of a, it's not authoritative, but somewhat of an advisory role in your life. But they're still your friend and they'll still just listen to you. And they're not always telling you what to do. But they just, they care about you. So that's, that's invaluable. You know, I, I, I think that you first have to define what a mentor is and realize uh, that in different times in your life, you're going you're gonna to allow different people to influence you. And, and the reality of life is that, you know, in a three, three months or six months or in three years, most of you are going to leave the sunny Niceville, Florida. I grew up in Boston, Massachusetts, and Washington, D.C., and 13 years ago came here. You know, the first three months I lived here, I'm like, sweetheart, we're moving anywhere, but we're getting out of here. And uh, uh, I just couldn't deal with how quiet it was. And, you know, 13 years later, we're still here. And so, uh, uh, but the, the, the point that I'm trying to make is, is that, is that is you're going to start to walk in probably one of the most influential times of your life. And uh, you're going to leave this cozy little town that we live in and go to some college someplace that that is going to be full of opinions and full of, let me tell you how the real world is. Let me tell you what you need to do uh, because uh, you, you're young and we're older and, and all of those things. And so you, you first have to step back and say, what really, what is a mentor and who am I going to allow to influence me? And, and uh, and mentoring, in, in my opinion, is a little bit backwards. It's really not what I can get from them. It's what I can give them so that they ultimately can guide me. There's lots of smart people out there. There's lots of people out there that have done amazing things. But if you are not open and honest with them, they can't help you. If you don't reveal yourself, if you don't say, you know what, God, why did you put this person in my life? What am I supposed to learn from them? How am I, what, am I, what am I supposed to do so that this person can guide me? Then it doesn't really matter who you talk to because they're not going to know how to help you. And that's kind of backwards if you really think about it. And, and uh, uh, so much of my life was what can I get from others until I woke up one day and said, Really, what can I give? And ultimately, if I do, I will get more in return. It's kind of biblical if you think about it. The, uh, uh, and it hasn't have anything to do with money. So my answer is, is different people are going to mentor you differently throughout your life. But it really is, what are you going to give them so that they can mentor you? Now for the next seven questions, what I want to do is I want to direct <clears throat> the questions at, at specific uh, individuals here. Um, but any of you who are on the panel, feel free that even if I don't direct it specifically towards you, um, feel free to jump in if, if it's an aspect or a question that you'd like to put two cents worth in. Um, 